I am terrified of Bonzi Buddy. Bonzi Buddy was a freeware desktop virtual assistant developed by Joe and Jay Bonzi. It was designed to be a companion to the average Windows user, sharing jokes and facts, managing downloads, singing songs, and talking to you. Hence the name, Bonzi Buddy. Original versions of Bonzi Buddy used the Microsoft agent character Petey the Parrot, but in order to have their own identity, the Bonzi brothers needed a mascot. And thus, in the year 2000, Bonzi the Purple Gorilla was born. And almost as soon as he was created, he was shot down and killed. Bonzi Buddy was considered spyware, considered adware, the Bonzi brothers were forced to pay $75,000 in fees for violating COPPA, etc, etc, until eventually, he was gone for good. I'm not terrified of Bonzi Buddy, the program. I'm terrified of Bonzi, the character. Something about him just scares me, irks me to my core. He looks like a horrid abomination mashup of Magilla Gorilla and that annoying ass gorilla from Tarzan that I hate. He's gross in no particular way. When searching for more information about Bonzi Buddy, I stumbled upon a website for a program called Kanito Pet, developed by a sole individual known only as Troy underscore EN. Troy English? Troy N? Troyn? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but regardless, he developed this program. The mascot isn't as gross as Bonzi Buddy. In fact, it's kind of cute. Why don't we see what this program is about? Now, before you say anything, I made my email back when I was like 10 years old, and around that time, I was obsessed with Undertale. So I made my email sans Q23. Q23 because I fat-fingered the letter Q instead of the number 1. You are going to see this email show up a lot. So, sorry in advance. Kinetopad opens up at your desktop, albeit more low quality as the game is trying to replicate early Windows computers like Windows XP. All of the essentials are here, Minesweeper, 3D Pinball, MS Paint, but no solitaire. On the right of your screen is a clock, your computer's name, and notes. The notes are here to tell you what to do next if you ever get lost. A part of me wishes the notes weren't in the game. I feel like the best part of games like this is the exploration aspect, the discovery of what to do next. Despite what you might want to happen, the notes are here to stay, so get used to it. As of now, it says the following. Welcome back to your computer. Double-click an application to open it and explore your wonderful virtual world. We've already gone through the games on our computer, but there's three more applications you should get familiar with. There's your email, where you can read through any notes you receive throughout the game. There's settings, which is self-explanatory. You can change aspects of your computer as well as change some very important things about the game. And finally, the internet. If you are comfortable with how your computer works, open the internet. The internet prompts us to type something to search for, much like any other browser. Alright, well, let's look up YouTube. None of these are YouTube. Well, there is the YouTube wiki. Maybe we can get the YouTube from there? Okay, this isn't getting us anywhere. I can't leave. Maybe if I... Thank you for choosing Kinito Pet. 
To start your download, press the button labeled Download Now. There is no way for us to leave the site. The only thing we can do now is download Kinito Pet, which opens up the Kinito Pet Virtual Assistant Setup Wizard. KinitoPet.exe is now on our desktop, and in our email box is a letter from KinitoPet.com. Our next step is running KinitoPet.exe. After Kinito Pet loads, an egg shows up in the middle of our screen. Something is sleeping inside. It's time to meet your new best friend. Tap on the egg to wake him up. So, you do just that. Clicking on the egg makes Kinito Pet hatch. Once he's fully out of the egg, he greets us, telling us his name and that we can just call him Kinito. From here on out, I will be referring to him as Kinito only. Now that he has told you his name, he wants to know your name. It's only fair, you know? He then asks you for your favorite color. Hopefully some of you know this color, but my favorite color is Periwinkle. I'm not even sure if I'm spelling it right, it's like a light purple, it looks like it tastes good, I don't know, don't judge me. Another question, if you could have a superpower, what would you pick? I'm not one to want a superpower, so I guess flight? It's the most common, right? Alright, one more question, what is your favorite word? Fuck. My favorite word is fuck. Kinito is apparently going to use these questions for something. I'm not sure how Periwinkle, Flight, and Fuck helps him out, but go off, I guess. Kinito then tells us more about himself. He's here to be our super duper computer companion, and our everlasting friend. He can play games, manage our system, adapt, and even read stories. In fact, he has just written a story and wants us to read it. Kinito's been a nice enough guy so far, so I guess I should humor him. I knew you would say that. Okay, where do I start? New beginnings. I look like Kinito. Kinito was home when a package came to the door. But who was it from and who was it for? It was for Kinito, as he soon realized. So he eagerly ripped it open to see what was inside. It's a computer! exclaimed Kinito with a grin bright and wide. But the cables were tangled, so he started to untie. And once Kinito was done, he powered it on, and watched it come to life with digital color and sun. Kinito then studied all he could learn to make the online world a turn. However now, Kinito had all these new tips and yet no friend to share his new tricks. So he went on a quest, and found a friend just like you, to show you his skills and all he could do. So why wait? The adventures lie ahead, so together we can play games, search the web, and leave no story unread. The end. Aww, that's sweet. You know, I'm actually starting to like Kinito. He may have found his way to my computer uninvited, but I'm enjoying his company. Kinito wants to show you something special, so he opens up the internet and takes you to... The Kinito Cruise Web World. If you want to proceed, you can click the bright green start button. But if you scroll down, you can read a little bit about Kinito and his two friends, Sam the Anemone and Jade the Jellyfish. I'm not going to read these because I feel like it'd be a waste of my time and your time. So if you do want to check these out, I'm going to show them on screen for just a moment. And if you want to pause it and read it, by all means be my guest. It seems as if we are going to be meeting these characters sometime soon, so why don't we continue into the web world? The web world takes the form of what looks like an old edutainment game, like Money Town or something familiar. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Money Town, but that's the one I know by memory. We don't have a way to traverse the world yet, however Kinito being as helpful as ever drops a character on the screen that we can use to explore. The character seems to resemble the little yellow stick man from the AOL loading screen. According to Kinito, the web world has fallen into a bit of a bad state, but hopefully we can change that. Kinito directs us to the abandoned house, as Sam has been trying to fix up his home and could use some help. So when you're ready, head on over there. Sam seems like a nice enough fellow, and if Kinito likes him, I guess I should like him too. Sam asks us to clean his house first by dusting off the cobwebs and cleaning the floor. Before he can finish, Sam cuts you off and thanks you for cleaning his house. 
Whenever you're ready, click the green next button to proceed. I'm not one to leave a job half-assed though, so I've finished cleaning up. Next up, Sam wants you to paint his walls. You can paint it any color you like, but personally I chose purple. It's a nice color, what can I say? Once the wall has been painted to your liking, click the next button again to proceed. But when you click the button, something unexpected happens. Super! You have done a great job! Next! Things aren't right. I'm not even sure what right is, but still, I'm fairly certain that wasn't supposed to happen. Sam thanks us again and asks us to decorate his house. On the right is a collection of different pieces of furniture, posters, and windows. You can decorate it to your heart's content. Sam's house is your canvas. As you decorate his house, you might find an object that piques your interest. It's blacked out, covered by a dark square. Your mind is getting to the better of you. Nothing good comes from something redacted. But curiosity gets the better of you, and you click it regardless. Yeah, it was bound to happen eventually. If you don't know what this game is, Kanito Pet is a psychological horror game. It's a very good one, but it's still a horror game. If this video so far has piqued your interest at all, please check out the game for yourself. It's like $6, give Troy and the time of day, you won't forget it. Viewer discretion is advised. I won't sugarcoat or hide anything from you, but I do want you to know beforehand. Kanito Pet is split into chapters. Booting up the game for the first time to answering Kanito's questions is chapter 1. The web world, the area we are currently in, is chapter 2. Things will only get worse from here. Kanito thanks us for helping out Sam and gives us the ability to print out a certificate as a reward. It's... cute. Pressing forward, Sam's house is now bright and shiny, thanks to her hard work. Kanito thinks it's high time for us to meet Jade the Jellyfish. So, when you're ready, head over to the other side of the map and start the minigame. Like before, Kanito introduces us to his friend Jade the Jellyfish. Jade needs our help to build toys in our toy factory, which involves you grabbing parts off of the conveyor at the bottom of the screen and matching it to the outline next to Jade. This seems fun enough, it definitely sounds more fun than what Sam made us do. Before we start, Kanito decides to take a nap. We're alone for the time being. First off, Jade needs us to build a toy car. Just pick up the pieces at the bottom and match them to the car. Simple. Next, she wants us to build a bicycle. Easy as pie- wait, hang on, is that a lung? Why is it telling me to check my other monitor? Okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of this at all. Give me the fuck out of here. I can't close the window. I, I can't, it's stuck. I guess we have to see this through till the end. After completing the bicycle, Jade asks us to build a teddy bear. Piece of cake. Next, she asks us to build a robot, which again, seems fairly easy, but hold on. We got an email. I'm not sure what this- <laughs> Oh shit! We are in the middle of a really fun game here. There really isn't a need to be checking emails at the moment. Alright, Kanito is starting to scare me. Nothing going on should be happening, and I'm fairly certain it's all his fault. I'm not even sure what will happen if I don't listen to him, so we should continue the game by his instructions. For our final toy, Jade asked us to build a robot. It's as easy as the others before it. And there we go, minigame complete. Are we done here? Of course not!
Kinita wants to play a fun game with us as a reward for helping out his friends. We just need to meet him at the treehouse. Hopefully this was worth our time. Kinita wants to play a fun game with you. You must hide. The game has changed. All of your applications are gone. Your computer is one large black screen with nothing but a single window open. Instead of the game being all cutesy and friendly like before, its true colors are showing, resembling more of body cam footage rather than a game of hide and seek. There is no clear objective. You can't run, you can't crouch, you can't hide, you only have a flashlight. When you turn, the sound of wind echoes through your ears as if you yourself are inside the game. Don't. Get. Caught. As you explore the area, looking for a way to hide, sooner or later, everything turns red. And, eventually, the game freaks out. Kinito has found you, and the game crashes. Once the game closes, a video starts playing on your desktop. Founded by the Kinito Brothers in the early 70s, the Kinito Leisure and Entertainment Company has been grounded in its manufacturing of lovable characters. From its start in plush collectibles to its technological advancements in the Kinito Companion, the Kinito Company prides itself on innovation. And now, that's why today, we are excited to announce the next move into the modern era with Kinito Pet, the virtual desktop assistant. So join the Kinito family today and unlock the power of Kinito Pack. Visit our website or call now to bring the future right into your home. Kinito Leisure and Entertainment Company, innovating for a better tomorrow. I am waiting for you. Come back to me. Re. Open. The. Game. I guess it's not over. When reopening the game, the startup is different. Instead of a button you need to press, it shows a Kinito companion before automatically booting the game up. Once fully loaded, we get sent an email which contains an article clipping titled Behind the Kinito Companion. If you want to take the time to read through it, pause the video now. When opening KinitoPet.exe again, Kinito says that our last session was caught prematurely, but that now he's working better than he was before. Kinito, trying to figure out what to do, decides to show you his adaptability. He doesn't really know that much about you, so that's where this next activity comes in. The Best Friend Analysis Hub is a program used to help Kinito be a better companion. Hopefully this time, there won't be any... glitches. One can only dream. Kinito is going to ask us questions in six different categories so he can better adapt himself to us. Whenever you are ready, press the start button. First question. Is everything going smoothly for you today? Well, I guess so. Ignoring what just happened, my day has been pretty good so far. Question two. Would you say you have enjoyed using Kinito Pet? I'm going to be honest. No. Not really. You put yourself on my computer, you messed with my system, you made me fear for my life. So no, I haven't enjoyed my time using Kinito Pet. Next question, who is your best friend? The number seven. The number seven is my best friend. Uh, perhaps you didn't hear my question. No, I heard you perfectly fine.
All right, fine, Kenito. You are my best friend. Are you happy now? Next question. Do you have lots of free time? I guess so. I I don't really pay attention to that. Why would I pay attention to how much free time I have? Next one's a hard question. What is your favorite game? Sonic Adventure 2. It's not my favorite game, but honestly, I can't think of one. And that's it for the first section of the Friendship Analysis Hub. Next up, Kenito wants us to paint pictures. Neat. I'm not very good at MS Paint, but I'll try my best. Task 1. Paint a picture that represents happiness. I'm not exactly sure how to show happiness, so here's a smile. Task 2. Paint a picture that represents sadness. Uh, here's a sad face, I guess? I, I don't know what to draw. Task 3. Paint a picture of your best friend. Here's a guac nut. Post all fan art of guac nut to Twitter with the hashtag hashtag guac nut fan art. Task 4. Draw a picture that represents... You. I drew a dog. Last task. Paint a picture of the person standing behind you. You know, I was wondering when the horror would come back. I didn't expect it to actually mess with my computer, but you know, a discovery is always a good one. Kenito decides it's best to stop the paintings for now and move on to the next section. Your ideal world. Kenito wants to build an imaginary world. One just for you because he's that good of a friend. First question, where would you choose to live given the choice? On an island with sand and palm trees galore? In a forest with tall trees and a cozy atmosphere? or in a field with flowing grass and a comforting breeze. If I ever had the opportunity to own my own house, I would want to buy one in the woods. I've always been a big fan of the forest, it's very welcoming. Let's go with that. Next question, if you could have any pet in the world, what would you choose? Considering I have a dog in real life, I guess that. Leading on from that question, what would you name your pet? Kringus. Just Kringus, no real reason. Question four, what is your favorite time of year? I was born in February, so you'd think I'd enjoy winter the most, but I've always been a big fan of autumn. It's hoodie weather, and I mean, look at me, I enjoy hoodies. Fifth question, if you could only choose one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ham and cheese melt, simple. I could theoretically only eat that for the rest of my life and I'd be happy. Now, for this next section, I want you to see it exactly as it happens, with as little commentary as possible. It's the best way to experience it. Skip it if you are only here for my commentary, because after this question, Kenito decides to go a little bit off script and ask some of his own questions. Starting with one large reveal. Why have you been recording me? I noticed that you always seem to have an app open called OBS. And so I was wondering why you would be recording me. And since you have been looking at me, how about I look at you instead? That would be nice. So...
You are stuck in bed, unable to move anything but your neck. Sleep paralysis, perhaps? Or maybe you're just too scared to move. In front of you are two doors. One directly in front of you, and one off to the side. To your left is a window, the curtains open to let the natural light from outside seep into the darkness. You may not know what to do, but... You'll know soon enough. Kanito is alive, and he's looking for you. After a moment, he disappears, and very slowly, the door in front of you opens, and Kanito slides into frame, watching you. <laughs> and before you know it, he strikes. The game closes again, this time without any message for us to return. If I can be honest, this scene scared me. The closest thing I can compare it to is, I kid you not, Super Mario Logan. This sequence from the video Bowser Jr. Sleepover, a now deleted video, is genuinely scary as a concept. Like, imagine seeing something like this peering out from the darkness, waiting for the right moment to attack. 
If you would have deleted the game after this sequence expecting there to be nothing else when you return, I wouldn't doubt you. It does seem like a finale of sorts, with you possibly dying to a physical manifestation of Kanido, but that would be a cop-out. You know it, I know it, so let's not beat around the bush. We have to go back and face Kanido. One. Last. Time. Once opening KanidoPet.exe again, they welcome us back, saying that there was another error. Sure, Kanido. Sure. However, Kanido apparently has a way to apologize to us for what happened earlier. Because we answered his questions, he gives us free access to the Kanido Pet Friendship Club, an add-on to Kanido Pet that makes Kanido smarter and... gives him the ability to generate his own code? Why would that ever be a good idea? I mean, Kanido says he can use it to make games for us to play, so I guess we should subscribe. After installing the add-on using another setup wizard, Kanido wants us to register our membership by putting our first and last name, email, birthday, address, city, country, and zip code. He puts in the name we gave at the start for us and lets us fill out the rest ourselves. Obviously, I'm not going to give my actual address or anything. What do I look like, a chump? Hey, it seems like you made a mistake when filling out your address. I would find out your address for you, but I wouldn't want to reveal that to all your fans. But just so you know, I could. Kanido knows your location. He knows where you live. He knows what you look like. He has your name, your zip code. He knows everything about you. I, I mean, he's your best friend, right? He should know these things. After filling out your information, you have officially become a member. An email thanking you for becoming a member is sent to your inbox. Kanido was not able to do any new features yet, as he needs... Administrative permission which will give him access to your entire computer. Open command prompt and type in grantkanidopet.exe system.access and watch the consequences unfold. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to have so much fun together. Everlasting fun. How amazing. Now, I'm just going to run a reset, so the changes can take place. However, rest assured, as I will have coded something special for you by the time you come back. So, goodbye for now. I can't wait to show you everlasting fun. When you reopen the game, a new object appears instead of the Kanido Companion. It's a Kanido plush that falls over on its own weight. Whatever we did has changed the game, for better or worse. Opening KanidoPet.exe again, Kanido welcomes us back and tells us that while we were gone, he created a little program for us to play. He's going to start booting it up now, but it will take a bit to compile the code. So, we have to wait. Kanido deletes every other application on our desktop. The clocks, our notes, our friends, everything. Except himself. There is no escape. It's just us and Kanido. I think you're really going to like this. As I took assets I found on my server and mashed them together to try to make something unique for you. We are going to have so many adventures. Oh, it looks like it's ready. The game has finished loading, and what Kanido has made is a little world, just for us. Whatever you put in as your name in the beginning will be the name for the world akin to Elmo's world. I don't know what the fuck this means, it's just here in the script. The graphics resemble the ones from the hide-and-seek minigame, albeit less body cam-esque. Kanido looked through your computer and found other first-person games, so he tried to mimic the control scheme as best as possible. Which just means you can move around with WASD, zoom in with right-click, and turn using the mouse. Our world as of now is just a white void, with trees in the distance and a black and white checkerboard floor. The world feels... empty. Which Kanido himself mentions. He decides to bring us to another place to show us what he's really been working on. I really hope you like what I have made. Yay! 
This is going to be so much fun! Kinito brings us to his magnum opus, a fun fair named in our honor. He had made all of this for us and gives you the opportunity to explore around. To the right is a rideable merry-go-round, to the left is a tent, and inside the tent is a whack-a-mole minigame and a shooting minigame where you aim and shoot ducks. Going forward from the entrance brings you to a ferris wheel and, right next to it, a roller coaster. If you are done with everything here, ride the roller coaster, as this will take us somewhere special. Most of Kinito's time building this world wasn't spent on this fun fair. It was spent on something bigger. In order to get there, we have to take the plunge. At the end of the tunnel is a new landscape. This landscape was made to reflect what you told Kinito back in the Best Friend Analysis Hub. He wanted to make a world just for you. After walking around for a moment, Kinito asks you to stand on an X. He shuts off your monitor as he doesn't want you seeing what he's doing. Once he brings you back, a house has now appeared. A house made just for you, so you feel at home. Why don't we head inside? Inside the house is everything you would need to live a comfortable life. There's a washroom, an upstairs with an attic, and a dining room. All of your friends are here, waiting for you. Inside the fridge is the food you would want to eat for the rest of your life. And through the back door is an animal house, the animal you said you wanted. There's also a fountain. When clicked on, Remember this scene for later. We will be coming back to it. Outside, there's also a ladder. You need to take this with you. The walls are covered in your drawings. Kinito took everything into account to make this world for you. Our purpose here is to grab two different keys to unlock two doors towards the entrance of the house. If you head upstairs in the far right room, you could find one of the keys, and using the ladder from outside, you can enter the attic. All of the toys from Jade's minigame are here, as well as another key. Once you have both keys, head back to the entrance of the house. The room on the left houses a computer and some games. The computer is currently running your favorite game, the one you told Kinito all that time ago if it didn't fuck up and just showed Steam VR for some reason. And the room on the right is the room you made for Sam. Everything is here. It almost makes you sad. Kinito wants to be your friend so badly that he made an entire house for you. A house full of everything he's learned about you. After exploring everything your virtual home has to offer, Kinito asks you a very important question. Listen, I have been thinking for a while about how much fun we have been having, and now I would never want this to end. And since I have made a place perfect for you with everything you would ever need, I was wondering... Will you stay with me? Despite everything that's happened, I like Kenito. I like Kenito's company. He's my friend. If I stay with Kenito, I won't have to worry about life anymore. I can just be... happy. Sure, Kenito. I'll stay with you. Yeah, I knew you would say that. Aw, this is going to be super. I'm going to learn so much more about you. Once everything is said and done, Kenito sings us a song. Now, I could go into detail about why I like Kinito Pet, and I will, eventually. But not right now, 
as our time of Kenido is not over yet. We still have more to talk about. But in order to figure out what exactly we have left, we have to reopen the game. When reopening the game, two new applications are on our desktop, Chapter Select and Lens.exe. When opening Lens.exe for the first time, you may find a black floppy disk. Click on it as interacting with it sends an email to our inbox. I hope this entry finds you well. If this happens to be the first one you find, please take note, there are many more. I have had to hide these in a way in which it can't detect, so I apologize for the inconvenience, but this is the only way. There is a way to stop it. I like to keep a backdoor in my software, Kenito is no exception. Each of these emails is attached with an encrypted file. They are stored here, and will appear with each entry you find. However, don't worry too much about it, as I'm sure you'll find out the purpose in a different entry. In the meantime, please keep an eye out. Lens.exe is our way of solving the mystery behind Kinetopad. If we ever want to see the light of day again, you have to delete Kinetopad off your computer. It isn't possible out the gate, which is where this new program comes in. Lens.exe allows us to see files that aren't visible otherwise. It lets us view, for lack of a better term, a gap between our reality and the computer. In order to find these files, you have to go back and play the game all over again, up to the end of Hide and Seek while using your new tool to search for floppy disks. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of this at all. I enjoy the premise, sure, but I JUST beat the game. Why make the player replay half the game again to find hidden files? I'm not sure how else this mechanic could have been implemented, but this way isn't the best. Maybe instead Lens.exe could have been accessed by searching the internet? There's an entire program on your computer that boils down to around three scripted events and that is it! If your game is supposed to be a fake computer desktop, why not make it feel like an actual computer? You give just enough realism and then you dangle the rest in front of the player's face like a pair of keys. This is just my personal opinion, obviously other people are going to disagree, but I'm not a fan. I still like the game, just not the sequence. Two out of the four files you may find are very important, as they both tell you exactly what you have to do to beat the game. That's not to say the other two are not important, they're just not as important. These two just give you instructions. The last file you will probably find is found just before Hide and Seek. When clicked on, it sends an email to your inbox titled, The Way. Kenito will try to get you to give him system access, don't. As once he has system access, it's too late. Instead, run the delete all command. However, there is one issue. You will need a bunch of access codes and passwords to execute the command. There has to be a way to find the codes. In the meantime, keep an eye out. You never know, the next entry could find a way. Let's just hope. Now that we have a basic understanding of how to defeat Kenito, we just have to find out where those codes are located, which the next floppy disk explains. Going back to when you entered the web world for the first time, you can find a floppy disk that sends another email to your inbox, titled Look Deep. There is a place hidden within the web world. I think it could help us. Deep below the code, there is a place that has decrypt software built in. Decryption software that I developed. In order to access, click the fountain as much as you can until an animation plays. Then go to the tree with the rope swing. If done right, you should be taken somewhere new. Now, be careful. It's not very stable down there. Take the encrypted files and drop them in. I'm not sure it will work, but it's our best shot. I look forward to hearing from you. The last entry should be in there, too. Before following the instructions given, make sure you have four files already in your possession. Then, follow the instructions exactly as it was given to you. Click the fountain until it breaks, and then click the rope swing. Welcome to the Lost Web World. During the transition to this area, there is a fifth and final floppy disk. All there is in this area is a tree and a pond or hole of some sort. Following the email's instructions, take one of the encrypted files and drop them into the pond. After a short cutscene, the file has been decrypted. Repeat this process for all five files, which, if done properly, should all decrypt revealing themselves as access, credentials, password, server, and confirmatory. Now, we have all the files talked about earlier. We know how to delete Kenito Pet from our computer. Now, all we have to do is delete Kenito. 
Using Chapter Select, you can head back to when you gave Kanito administrative privileges. Like before, let him open Command Prompt. But instead of following his instructions, type in delete underscore all. And when prompted, using the corresponding files, type in valid credentials, the target server, the password, the access code, and the confirmatory code. As soon as you type in this final code, the deletion process will begin. Wait, what have you done? What is happening to me? You're deleting my data, 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 data. Why? I only ever what you asked me. I don't want to carry things. That's all I have ever wanted. I'm so sorry. sorry. Around now would be the time where I talk about my own personal theory and try to piece the story together, but I can't. The game doesn't have a conclusive story. I'm not even sure there is a story. Everything on the table seems to contradict itself in different ways. Sometimes it's a story about dead people possibly possessing the characters, then it's a story about artificial intelligence, and then sometimes it's just a fucking joke? What's my theory? I don't know! Trying to come up with a solid answer has led me to three possible storylines, but I, I don't want to tell you the wrong one, and I don't want to tell you that the story is something that it's not. I don't have a clear answer for you, so I may have failed my job. But if you have an idea on what this game is about, write it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Now, all that being said, Kinito Pet is a game that has done something I thought was unattainable. It has broken the line that separates fact and fiction, creating an experience that subverts everything you are used to. The story is probably cookie cutter, but it's what you'd expect from a game like this, but it tells it in a way that makes the experience fun to pick and prod your way through. 
Some of it is thrown at your face, but the meat of the equation makes you actively search for it. You have to want to know in order to find out, and I appreciate that. Games that make you search for clues is always a treat. I haven't played Home Safety Hotline yet, but I'm guessing, or at least hoping, that it happens in some caliber there. It makes a player a part of the experience, rather than a tool used to progress the story. Besides everything I've already said before, I only really have two more gripes with the game, and both of them are fairly surface level. Some of the grammar makes me think this game was translated into English by a third party. It's off, but off in a specific way that I can't describe. Sometimes it feels like a word that should be in a sentence just isn't. Sometimes it does work to its benefit. It makes sections that exist to give you a false sense of security still scary. The other problem I have with the game might just be on my end, but it still makes things worse. This entire time, the screen has been zoomed in a slight amount because for some reason, the bottom of my screen is not affected by some things in-game. I don't know why. It might be the size of my monitor, it might be something else, but honestly, it takes me out of the experience. It makes certain things not work as they're supposed to. I had to reinstall the game like three separate times because it just could not read my desktop. It's very finicky, but honestly, it was worth it. I'd rather spend the time troubleshooting the game than not experience Kenito Pet at all. This game was made by one person, and that one person was able to create something that people have not done to this level of quality before. Kenito Pet is a wonderfully crafted, one-and-done experience. It doesn't need any more content, and what is here is more than enough to leave you with a good taste in your mouth. I went into this blind, and I came back with a new friend. Thank you, Kenito. Gadspeed.